Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a basic layer inside the Roland Phantom O. All right, let's get started. So what do I mean by a layer? So a layer is essentially two tones layered on top of each other. That's just a basic layer we're going to do. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, it doesn't matter where I am at inside my Phantom O. If I wanted to start from a free area, I could just press single tone and that clears out the scene uh, temporarily that I'm working in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit zone view. And remember zone view, I can go ahead and have a view of one zone, four zones, eight zones, or 16. In this example, I want to see at least four. Okay, so I'm going to start off by picking my first sound. And I know there's a piano there as a default, but we're not going to choose that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit zone select. This is going to allow me to move around within this scene to the different zones with, uh, just by pressing a button. So zone select on and then you, I can just move around. All right, let's go ahead and start off by choosing an electric piano. I'll just press electric piano. But if I press it again, I can go ahead and just see all the electric pianos. And if I want, I'll go ahead and hit the star, which shows all of the ones that I have rated. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just choose this phaser uh, piano right here. Ooh, got to drop an octave. Okay, that sounds fine to me. I will hit OK. Okay, there's that one. So now I'm going to move over to the next zone. Here's zone two. I could do it by pressing the zone select zone two, or I could just go ahead and just touch the screen, or I could use the cursors. Whichever way that you work best, that's the way I suggest you do it. Now let's go ahead and choose another sound. Uh, a common one that I'll use for a basic layer is a string. So now that that zone is highlighted, number two, I will go to my string category. And I just put a string, but if I once again want to look inside, I can hit it again and I can look inside my strings and then choose the one I want. I can either go through here, use my dial wheel, use my cursors, or I can go ahead and go to the page or I can go ahead and hit my what I have rated. So let's go ahead and just choose this first one. And let's try another one. Yeah, let's use this one. That sounds fine, okay. And now let's put them together. Now right now I have zone select is only gonna allow me to play one sound at a time. So now that I have the two sounds chosen, I will unselect zone select. Now these buttons will allow me to layer them. So I just hit number one, here's number two. Notice how the keys lit up. So unselect one, and two and so now they are layered together and there you can hear them both together all right but now we need to make our adjustments of the volume between them okay and this is strictly up to taste you can adjust it however you feel uh, makes sense to you so i'm going to bring them both down and now i'm going to bring up what i call my you know my dominant sound i'll probably put this about one about a hundred uh, that's fine. So I have have that. Sounds that's close enough. Okay, there we go. We'll put it about a hundred. One more. Boop. All right, cool. Hundred. And then now we're gonna bring up that secondary sound or supporting sound in zone two, just by using the slider here. Completely up to you. There we go. Play it a little bit. Make sure it sits right for you. There we go. I think that's good for me in this example. So now I have the two uh, tones in the zone, zone one and two, and I could put up to 16. I really could, but we're going to do that in a later video. So now I need to save that scene. All right. So all I need to do now is go in and press the right button and I can go to scene and I can use cursors and I can press enter or press scene right there. 
Now it says, well, what do you want to name it? Well, I want to rename this. Let's call this one. I'm going to uh, clear all. And I'm going to call this just a basic. Whoops. No problem. We'll call this one just a basic layer. Okay. So there we go. Basic layer. And hit OK. Now I need to decide where I want to put it within Side my phantom. I can always go ahead and press the enter button because this is highlighted and it's going to pop it open and I can see where I want to put it or the scene right destination. So I can use this kind of go around and look very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and put it maybe right here on number 12. Make sure there's nothing else because I'm going to do a couple examples here. So let's do a basic, uh, the basic layer right here on D12. OK. And looks good. Nothing's there. And OK, it's going to ask me, are you sure? OK, this is a, just an old school MIDI thing that because uh, back in the day when you would overwrite something, it would just overwrite it. And you were like, oh, no. Well, this gives you the option. Are you sure? And if you are, let's go ahead and select OK. OK, there it is. The basic layer inside the Roland Phantom O. Give it a shot. You can have fun with this. Remember, you can always go in and edit this again if you need to. It's not a big deal. Have fun. All right. I hope this video helps you out. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you later. Wow.